What's up guys? So in this video today, what we're going to talk about is are these grippers good for martial arts and for athletic training? Now there are three types of grips that you should work on for your martial arts or athletic training. That is holding, crushing, and pinching. In this video, we're going to be talking about the captains of crush grippers and how they can potentially help you in your martial arts training. Now, as we know, Captains of Crush mainly deals with the gripping aspect of training, so that's what we're going to be focusing on, um, of course, in this video. In crushing, basically what you're trying to do is grab something by focusing power toward the center of your hand against resistance with the aim to crush. And I'd also like to just say that developing a stronger grip will carry over to your supportive grip. The supportive grip is trained isometric, while the crushing grip is trained, of course, dynamically. Now, I do want to mention there is a famous person out there that uh, does podcasts for the UFC who actually does implement these captains of crush grippers. It is claimed that Joe Rogan, one of the commentators of the UFC, actually does train with these and he believes in training them because um, they're very good for building tendon strength. Now obviously anybody with two cents knows that when you grab somebody it's more than just your grip. You use your body, your wrists, your elbows, etc. Even the great Bruce Lee advised in grip training. Uh, maybe not particularly the captains of crush training but uh, I'm sure if they were out there he would probably be using them. So lesson learned here, don't neglect your grip training. So I want to give you a little, um, you know, a little uh, background about uh, how I learned about these and uh, how they've helped me out in my own training. So I've taken jujitsu for about two years now. Um, I've used the Captains of Crush for about uh, one and a half years, maybe one year or so. Um, I will say they have helped tremendously. I mean, when you're able to grab onto somebody, um, what you also want to be able to do though is focus on your holding. Because when you focus on your holding, you know you're actually able to hold the person as well. That's just as important as crushing, and that's where the captains of crush comes in. So what I'd say, in my own personal opinion, is yes. If you are a martial artist, if you are an athletic person, definitely use these grippers. Um, I mean, these are the gold standard of the grippers. You can't go wrong if you use these things here. All right, guys. So as we stated. Grippers are not a waste of time. They are very important for your strength and hand development. So don't let anybody tell you that grippers don't matter or they don't work. So go ahead and get them. Feel how your body's doing. You know, never do too much. Never strain yourself or anything like that. So grippers can help tremendously in athletic training. But again, don't take my word for it. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. Validate it for yourself. See if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, again, throw it out. But if it does, and I have a pretty good feeling that it will, go ahead and keep trying it. And keep trying. And uh, use those grippers. And I can uh, almost pretty much guarantee you, as it you know was for me, um, you know your strength is going to increase. People are going to notice. Um, you know, your your martial ability is going to skyrocket. Just one more thing. Again, I wanted to. Um, go back into uh, my own uh, personal sessions of uh, what I was doing when I was doing these grippers for martial arts and athletic training. Um, when we were doing jiu-jitsu, you know, I was actually able to hold on to that gi longer and harder, okay? And that's where that crushing power comes in. So you're going to be able to crush it and hold it. Now holding is another strategy and technique that we'll go over but not in this particular video because I want to make sure that people understand out there that using the captains of crush grippers is indeed effective for your martial arts or athletic training. You know, bottom line is you got to be able to hold on to a gi or a shirt. And the best way to do that is to develop the crushing power. Lastly, I want to close out by uh, just mentioning a couple of things here. If you're training martial arts, if you're training any sort of uh, athletic um, uh, training, you're really doing yourself a disservice if you're neglecting to train your hands. You want to train your hands because the stronger your hands are, the stronger your body will become. And that's just a fact, we know that. And of course, at the end of the day, any heavy grip training exercise is going to help you guys. It's going to increase your tendons, 
It's going to increase your strength and your muscle size um, and increase my muscle size and we'll go over that in another video as well. Also guys, you should also work on your supporting, remember we said the supporting slash holding exercises. And those basically could mean, you know, farmer walks or, or heavy holds on barbells, things of that nature, of course. So, well, that's the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, I'll always get back to your questions like I always do. And um, we'll see you guys uh, next Friday. I got some more videos coming out, some more content coming out. Pretty excited about it. And, uh, you know, and I actually got a program that I've been working on for a very long time. So I know you guys are going to love that. And um, at the end of the day, again, I wanted to say that, uh, you know, grip strength is very important for your martial arts and your athletic training. Anybody that tells you otherwise, you know, you can listen to them, but my advice would be is this. Try it out, train it for yourself, and if it doesn't work, discard it, like Bruce Lee said. But if it does work, use it. And that's all I have to say in this particular video. Again, thank you guys for watching my content. I wanna say Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Um, and uh, let's keep doing it. Let's keep making these gains. Let's keep making this work. And we're gonna get to the top. We're gonna bring the sport back. All right, guys, bye.